Chapter 1. How magicians collect virtues from the threefold world is declared in these three books. Seeing there is a threefold world, elementary, celestial, and intellectual, and every inferior is governed by its superior, and receiveth the influence of the virtues thereof, so that the very original and chief worker of all doth by angels the heavens, stars, elements, animals, plants, metals, and stones convey from himself the virtues of his omnipotency upon us, for whose service he made and created all these things. Wise men conceive it no way irrational that it should be possible for us to ascend by the same degrees through each world, to the same very original world itself, the maker of all things, and first cause from whence all things are, and proceed, and also to enjoy not only these virtues, which are already in the more excellent kind of things, but also besides these, to draw new virtues from above. Hence it is that they seek after the virtues of the elementary world, through the help of the physic and natural philosophy in the various mixitions of natural things, then of the celestial world, in the rays and influences thereof, according to the rules of astrologers and the doctrines of mathematicians, joining the celestial virtues to the former. Moreover, they deliver in these three books, whereof the first contains natural magic, the second celestial, and third ceremonial. But I know not whether it be an unpardonable presumption in me that I, a man of so little judgment and learning, should in my very youth so confidently set upon a business so difficult, so hard, and intricate as this is. Wherefore, Whatsoever things have here already and shall afterward be said by me, I would not have any one assent to them. Nor shall I myself, any further than they shall be approved of by the universal church and the congregation of the faithful. 